you may know this already, it's kind of obvious, but the, what controls your health is your immune system. And in animals, it's called the major histocompatibility complex. In humans, we call it the human leukocyte antigens. But your immune system genes, which are in fact the most complex genes you have in the entire human genome, are what control your immune system. And what the thing that you want to do to maximize the likelihood of both child health and a viable pregnancy is combine your immune system genes with somebody else's immune system genes that are most different from you. And the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want to have any mutations stacked up against the baby you're trying to create. And you also want to have the maximum amount of disease coverage. So if you cover A through M, you want someone else who's going to cover N through Z. So from an immune system perspective, you want to find someone who has a very dissimilar immune system from you. The genetics of your immune system are represented externally in a phenotype of guess what? Your body odor. Now, it always turns out that everybody, except if you have an identical twin who's eating the exact same diet as you, has a unique body odor because everybody has a unique immune system. The genes of your immune system are unique to you unless you have an identical twin. And so no one smells like you. And this is why when you escape from jail and leave your socks behind, the tracking dog can find you in the woods later and doesn't go after the mailman instead. So only you smell like you. And you've probably heard about this sort of classic t-shirt experiment. And this study was done in Switzerland by Klaus Wiedekind and his colleagues. And what he did, this is a really classic, elegant experiment, is he had 49 females and 44 males typed for their a set of immune system genes. And he coded them on the basis of the connection between the women and the men in the study, who were more similar to, to whom, who was less similar, and so forth. And then he had each woman get a set of boxes that inside them contained the t-shirt that men had worn, either men who were very similar to them in immune system genes or dissimilar to them. And these men wore them for two nights where they were just sleeping. They, had, they weren't allowed to do anything that involved odor or deodorants or things like that, but they could use the wash and ivory soap and wear these to bed so that it would just get their sort of natural, clean body odor sweat. And these women were presented with boxes of these t-shirts. Three of the boxes had t-shirts from men that were more similar to them genetically, and three of them from men that were more different. And I want to make the point that this is going to be different for every single woman. So who smells best to you is not going to smell best to your best friend. It's like there's no Brad Pitt of body odor. Each one is going to be different to you. So from a genetic perspective, a biological perspective, and this is the, the kind of the correct thing to do, women picked the t-shirts of men who were more different from them genetically as being the ones that smelled most pleasant and most sexy to them. Now, there's <laughs> this is a very famous photograph from National Geographic, where there was a big study on smell done. And what I want to tell you about now is not only is it the case biologically that smell is important for women and because of the sort of immune system idea and the health of a child and so forth, women actually do pay a lot of attention to how a man smells, and it is, in fact, the most important physical feature for determining whether she's into you or not. So a study that we did at Brown involved 200 college students, where in this particular study it was just a survey where we had people evaluate a variety of physical and social features. So I wanted to also look at the idea of you know, having a lot of money, having a lot of resources, you know, have, being high status, and so on, those kind of social factors, as well as a variety of physical factors. So how good looking you are, how nice your voice sounds, how good you smell, and so forth. I also wanted to look at the fact of you know, what's really most important, and where is it most important to be extra good? So here are the results for women evaluating men. Now, I should say this, and maybe this is a caveat to do with brown students, for, but for both men and women, the number one most important thing in choosing a mate, and the idea of the study was this is like a, you know, a sexual liaison, not necessarily someone you're going to marry or anything like that. But number one, both men and women said pleasantness. So you have to be nice, first of all. And then when it comes to women evaluating men, Smell was the most important physical feature and tied for intelligence, but 
but more important than any other social feature, and you can see money is way down at the bottom of the list there. Here's men evaluating women. Again, you see pleasantness is number one, and here, like the traditional view suggests, looks are most important. But I've already explained that there's a good biological explanation. It's not shallowness. It's actually important for men to be looking for good-looking women. Now, what I want to look at is, well, what, what about, all right, every, you're, you're good looking, you smell good, but how important is it to, for you to be like really good looking or to smell really good or to have a really great voice or a really fantastic skin? So for women, it was more important that the man smell extra good than he look good, that he feel good, or that his voice was great. And for men, it was most important that she looked extra good. And this, the third result here, which is also very telling and also important for a modern life, is that women actually ranked your real natural body odor as being the most important thing in terms of that being like the best turn on. So my relationship advice to be taken with a whiff is if you are a single woman, pay attention to what your nose tells you. And if you're looking for Mr. Biologically Right to have a family with, you might be advised to go off the pill or not start it. And if you are a single man looking for lots of dates, you should wear a popular fragrance that makes you feel good. But if you are looking for someone to start a family with, you may want to avoid using scented products.